Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Justin with Retro Game Hunters and today we're going to be taking a look at a two bears playing tennis apparently with dynamite. Wait, no we're not. That's not what we're doing. Uh, no, no. We're going to take a look at the Mr. Fusion Universal Mr. install image. Uh, I'm kind of thinking this might be the new default way to kind of set up your Mr. and I hope it is. It's actually really freaking cool. Uh, I found this by following um, Amore2600 on uh, Twitter and his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to his Twitter and YouTube. Uh, he's awesome. His videos are fantastic. Uh, definitely check him out. Give him a thumbs up or, you know, whatever. I'm not going to tell you to give people a thumbs up, but do what you want. But definitely give him a thumbs up. Also sub because he's cool and he has good shit. Uh, so this is really just uh, going off Mr. Fusion's, uh, you know, image here. Uh, so you can go to his GitHub page. I'll include a link to that. Uh, really just browse through the directions. It's pretty pretty straightforward. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you'll see me. I'm just going to go ahead and download the image from the release page here. It's going to download the zip file. And this is a lot like uh, burning an image for a Raspberry Pi or something. Uh, it's really not different at all. So you can go ahead and choose any... Uh, you know, image burner, you know, application you want. Uh, a more 2600, uh, you know, I'll include a link to his video. He did it through Linux, through Terminal. So if that's your jam, you can go that route as well. Does not matter. Uh, my preferred method is usually using Etcher, which uh, you'll see me do here. And right now I'm just going to, you know, try to format this SD card that I put in here. So let's see how this goes. It, uh, if I memory serves me correctly, it did not go well. You don't have to put a volume label to it. I normally do. All right, here we go. And format fit. What did you, you failed. Screw you. Let's try that again. All right, going to type that out. This is fun. Here we go. Is it going to work? Yeah, take that. Take that, SD card eraser guy. Okay, uh, so now that the SD card is erased, um, pretty much, I'm just going to unzip it and copy it out of its directory or cut and copy out of its you know zip folder place it into my mr scripts directory uh and then uh, you know like i said you can use any imaging program you want whether it's etcher uh, or win32 disk imager or you know through terminal through linux uh but i'm just gonna kind of show you guys how to do it via windows uh, a more 2600 already covered the linux portion of it um, and if you want to see a video with Win32 Disk Imager, it, I could do that. I mean, wouldn't make much sense, and it'd be like a two-minute video, but uh, yeah, whatever you guys want. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the SD card here, and hit flash. Uh, don't worry about any of these error messages, or if it's like, the card's too big. It, none of that matters, that's fine. So we're pretty much just going to stare at this for like a minute. I'm pretty sure it went fairly quickly. Yep, there we go. Verifying, validating. Okay, uh, so you can hit cancel on that little guy. You don't have to worry about that. And the screen here, uh, you see that the scripts folder is already there. No need to pop it into the mister and then browse to it, uh, FTP or anything like that. Uh, we can just straight away dump any script that we want to in here. Uh, so a more 2600 went with a different script. I'm going to use the retro driven skip, uh, script. I don't know how to talk, so this is cool. Uh, I'm going to drop that script right in here, and then we're going to switch over to the uh, mister in a moment, and we're just going to run that script and check it out. So I will see you over at the mister right about now. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's fun. I, I probably should have made a sound effect for actually snapping my finger instead of snapping my finger. But we're going to go over to the scripts folder, hit yes, always hit yes, don't read anything, just don't, yeah, just don't, just hit yes. Select retro driven update suite, and we're going to let that run its course. I'm going to do the run essential and all optimal scripts, so autopilot all scripts, because I just want all of the things, baby. I want them all. We're going to select that. Going to download it. All right. So this is going to grab everything, including the uh, Jotago, um, Jotago, I'm, I'm really, you know, just like last time I'm butchering this guy's name, Jose, I'm going to call him Jose because that's his name. So we're going to download Jose's, uh, you know, all of his uh, arcade cores and all that, so 
instead of me playing some cool video game music, which I would love to. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to skip ahead. So I'm going to go through FileZilla like I normally do. It's one of my preferred FTP clients. And yeah, let's uh, browse the directory. So right here, I'm just going to kind of show you how everything is set up. It's done. Everything is done. Um, all the you know CPS1 games are in there. Uh, any of the unofficial arcade games are in there. The normal uh, arcade games are in there. Downloads on the MRA files, the RBF files. Like everything is there. It's 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 done. So I think that's pretty friggin' cool. Uh, this is a lot easier than the other method. The other method wasn't hard. It was just this is a lot quicker, easier in my opinion, and uh, you know it, it's it is OS agnostic. It, it really doesn't matter what OS you're running. You can make this happen. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, with that being said, as always, super appreciate you guys watching. You know, I, I definitely appreciate the, uh, the other followers we've gotten in the last few days. Thank you so much. Uh, doing this stuff is a lot of fun. Thank you. Have a great day.